also kind of similar to Haley. I chose SOL 6.3 and that's the students will compare and order integers. I just focused on 6.3b instead of the whole thing so I just took out, took out that one portion of focus on integers and comparing and ordering them. Chicken strip, please. What would you like to drink? Sweet tea. Okay, Sunday now or later? Later, please. What else for you? That'll be it. It's gonna be 874, but we'll go and pull around. Thank you. Well, hello. I don't even think I have talked to the camera at all today. I did, like, I rehearsed in my head what I was gonna say to you guys, and then I didn't ever do it. Okay. Hello my YouTube friends. <laughs> it was one of those mornings this morning where I just, my alarms not go off. I woke up four minutes before I was supposed to leave. I ended up leaving about 15 minutes late. I think it was more like 12 minutes late. Um, but I still got to class on time. So that was good. Today has just been, it's been a pretty good day. It's just been crazy and busy. Um, and I've kind of, I'm kind of in a funk where I just want to sleep and not do anything at all. So I wanted to share a few tips, um, that I use when I'm in this kind of, like, lazy funk. I used to tell myself, like, wow, you're so lazy, you need to get your crap together, you need to do X, Y, and Z, and, like, I, I'm not very nice to myself most days, if I'm being realistic here. So I used to be that way to myself. And now I've kind of learned that when I have an off day and I'm just kind of like bleh, I just do what I absolutely deem necessary for that day and then just get the rest of it done tomorrow. So like today, I really wanted to finish cleaning my room and get my closet organized and put my clothes away. And the moral of the story is, I don't feel like it. And I've just been sitting here laying in bed watching TV um, and that's okay. It's okay to have days like that. Um, I did what I absolutely needed to do today, and I even reorganized my email inbox and made, like, labels and stuff for all of them, which was amazing. I have been wanting to do that for so long. I got a lot of, like, my KDP, um, organizational stuff done. Um, so that was super beneficial as well. And right now I'm getting ready to do my assignment that I need to do for today so I'm gonna just go ahead and do that and then everything else I'm just gonna push off until tomorrow and I'm gonna try and get as much done tomorrow as I can now if I have several lazy days like this in a row obviously I have to start kind of telling myself to get my crap together and do stuff because I can't have several lazy days where I don't do anything but if it's just one day especially Monday beginning of the week and I had a crazy long weekend so I'm just going to Give myself a break, you know, you know. So I'm gonna do this assignment right here, and I'll catch up you guys in a second. completed my task for tonight. Um, it is 9 o'clock and I'm going to bed. Is everything done that I could be doing right now? No. Could I be doing some other things instead of watching TikTok or Criminal Minds? Yes. Am I going to do them? No. 
I don't feel like it. I'm tired. And I'm going to bed. I'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning. I'm done here. <laughs> so I am sitting in a beanbag chair with a little uh, padded rocker thing um, because, oh, there we go, because I just felt like I needed to. I needed something different. Today I'm just really sleepy, really tired, um, but I've already done quite a bit of work this morning. I went to my class at 8 a.m and sat through that and then after that class I came into the nave and I did my lab one and completed it and turned it in and now I have just almost finished, basically finished, um, watching a uncut video on teaching channel that is an hour or 72 minutes long, 73 minutes long, <laughs> um, and filling out a form about that. So I have been working hard this morning. I'm just really tired. Like I'm sitting here watching this video and I'm like falling asleep. So that's kind of where I'm at with that. My to-do list is to do lab one and two that I do by 5 p.m. today. To do some teaching channel stuff, to watch one video. I may or may not just completely finish all of my teaching channel stuff. That's like extra, like the three videos we have to watch a total 90 minutes because the one I selected now is 73 minutes, so then I just have like 20 more minutes to watch videos, but we'll see. I at least want to get this one done and then move on and do lab two, so I make sure I have it done before five. There's no questions asked. And then I need to work on my technique toolbox for education, which will actually be kind of interesting and fun, I think. I, I do like building my knowledge of techniques and strategies to use in the classroom, so that's what that is. Um, and then I need to check on redoing or like correcting one of my assignments for um, science and I also need to look at reading some of the things for SPED for my special education class. So that's what I have going on. I also want to show you kind of my setup today. I kind of destroyed the nave today and kind of made it my own. Don't tell anyone, I will definitely put it back. These are the beanbag love sack chairs that we have. And I have this little scoop rocker just sitting in it. It's not really a scoop rocker. It's like a cushioned rocker. And this is like adjustable. Um, but I have it sitting here. And I have the computer monitor facing me. So I can work on it. Um, and it also lets me just kind of lounge back and watch the video. Which is super nice. And then I brought this little high top table over here. Because I do want to stand some today. I just feel like I need to stand more, um, but I haven't had an opportunity to <laughs> do something that's not on the computer that I can stand on, stand to do. But hopefully I'll get to do that soon. But yeah, that's kind of how my setup is going today. 
so yesterday was a really crazy and kind of like depressing day for me I don't know why I just kind of felt bleh and gross yesterday today I am definitely feeling so much better so much more um, motivated I wouldn't really say I'm like pumped or energized because I'm very tired but I would say that I am a little more a little more motivated than I was yesterday so I'm hoping that I can get a lot of stuff done today I still have four hours or three and a half three hours and 45 minutes to do some work so that is a plus I'm getting used to this very long gap in my schedule I'm not used to having so much downtime to do work all at once but I'm getting used to it and I'm actually kind of liking it because I'm able to do all my work during the daytime and then have the evenings to myself to relax, which is really nice. So that's my goal today is to get everything I need to get done before choir, which is at 4, uh, and then go home at 5, be home by 5.30, eat some dinner, and relax. But for right now, I'm going to go ahead and get to work um, some more and finish up these assignments and continue eating my lunch, which I've been kind of doing here and there. I kind of just snack throughout the day. That works best for me. I will show you guys my finished um, student teaching application website, Google site, uh, momentarily. <laughs> okay. Hi, you guys. So I told you that I would show you um, my website. I know that I said I would screen record, but right now I just have a spare moment to do it and I'm realizing that I may not have time later this evening to do that so I'm going to do it now <laughs> and I'll show you this way I hope that you are able to see so this is my google site I have um, not shown the URL because I don't want you to see that so over here on the side this is the um, like menu here so I have edu402 site which is student teaching um, this is the home web page this is the program application student teaching application my references and then unofficial transcripts those are the like um, things we were required to put on here. Um, so this is my home page. Um, I have welcome to my Google site. I'm so happy you're here with my little bit emoji, which is super cute. And I added this little pencil background. And of course, it's pink themed because that's just me and who I am. I'm going to scroll down. So this is my little image carousel here. I have some pictures of me that I think were decent pictures. <laughs> um, so. And then I have, hi there, my name is Amber Scott. I'm studying elementary education at Freedom College. My goal when being in any classroom is to build positive relationships with as many students as I can. I believe that teaching is truly a gift and it has become one of my greatest passions. I'm getting my certification in K through, t in K through 6, but I would love to work with 4th through 6th graders specifically in math. The purpose of this site is to showcase my work and my abilities of becoming a teacher, and then I have my contacts listed below um, that you can't see. <laughs> the next section that we had to include was a how to navigate the site. Um, right here, I have my little bit emoji again, and I said on the left-hand side of the screen, you will see a list of all the pages on this Google site, and you can navigate to any of the other pages by clicking on their name. Once the new page opens, you can scroll down and see what information is on it. I hope that you enjoy. And then I finally listed my social media accounts. I've talked about this um, in earlier videos as well, but I'll read it to you again. Um, this is, it says to please click on the logo of the type of social media that, and it will take you to my personal page. The reason I have this here is because I go to great measures to make sure that every part of my life is a good representation of me and the things I am a part of. These are here for you to look at so you can make sure I'm the right candidate for this program. And so I just wanted to be fully transparent with the department and say here's all my social media you can check it and I had nothing to hide and I just felt like that was very like open and honest and I don't know I just really wanted to do it so I did <laughs> then if you click on the program application this is what's gonna pop up I am not gonna be able to show you my application but I will show you parts of it so I have shown below my program application scroll down and see the whole document again bitmoji same theme going on here so we had to write some essays I will show you this I'm not gonna read it to you because it's pretty boring but we had to name and describe some of our internship experiences and um, share one or more anecdotes that were particularly meaningful to you and how these experiences have impacted your desire to become a teacher so that was I wrote about that and then we had to take an in-task standard uh, of teachers and write about how we would apply that in test standard as well. So that's just my part of my application there. The parts up here have more of like our grades, the classes I have taken, my GPA, my averages, and my courses. 
all that kind of stuff. I'm just going to keep more of that things, more of those things kind of private. Also, it all makes me list my references and their contact information. So also in keeping that private. Um, this site is private as well, even though it is published. Um, only people um, who I have shared it with are able to view it. Then if we look at my student teaching application, again, we're going with the same theme here. So shown below is my student teaching application. Um, the top page of this is personal information about me and my student ID numbers and stuff. But this is um, my scores for all of my state testing, um, which I will totally openly share with you. I have no problem doing that. Um, so my VCLA scores, I got a 257 in the reading and a 241 in the writing. So I had a composite score of 489. Your composite score has to be 470 to pass. For the RVE, um, you have to have a 157 to pass. I got a 189, so I'm very proud of that one. That was the last one. I just got those scores this week or last week. Got them Friday and it is now Tuesday. So, uh, just finished that. So happy I passed. And then these are the four Praxis subtests for elementary education. You have to pass the reading one, I got a 175. The math one, I got a 182. Social studies, I got a 155, which is literally the minimum passing score. Don't care, I passed, not taking it again. <laughs> the science subtest, I got a 175. So that's all my scores and how I definitely passed all of my teaching tests. So happy. Um, and I'm not going to scroll down and show you the rest of it. The rest of it is my preferences for where I want a student teach and more personal information about the district so I'd rather kind of keep some of that private and um, we also had to go through a checklist to make sure that we agree by the terms and conditions and all that kind of stuff so that's boring <laughs> then if we go to references okay I'm gonna have to blur out part of this but uh, my references are listed below I'm not gonna show you my references but I just have all three of them listed in Google Docs down below my unofficial transcripts, which um, again, it's the same kind of thing. I'm gonna have to blur out that bottom part, Amber and editing, because right there is my address and my ID number. How great. Okay, anyway, so these are my unofficial transcripts, and they're again listed in a Google Doc below. <laughs> so that's really it for my student teaching application or my application to the program. So uh, my advisor slash director head she's like all in one um she said it looked fantastic and that she was going to schedule um interviews and meetings with everyone later this week or next week i think i'm not sure so that's pretty much it <laughs> okay i'm going to continue doing a little bit more work continue reading my sped notes and i actually need to do some work talking about student teaching reminded me that i need to look at henry county's website and see if i can do a background check for henry county Yay! Okay, bye.